All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be trying out a brand new game called One Punch Man World. As you all know, I'm a pretty big fan of the anime, and we had a previous game called A Hero Nobody Knows. Not a lot of people really like that game, but this one looks different. I've been following all the different trailers and the details that they've been providing for us. It seems epic. It's one-on-one -on -one to the actual anime. We have very cool cinematic cutscenes, and... It's a gacha game. I know not a lot of people like the gacha system just because the drop rates are extremely low. I don't normally play gacha games. I mean, I have tried some out before, of course, Dragon Ball Legends, Dokkan Battle, but I don't necessarily play them. Uh, we're going to try this one out for the very first time. We had some previous betas. I was never fortunate enough to participate in any of them. So this is quite literally my very first time trying out One Punch Man World. And here it is. Already with the cutscenes. <laughs> we have a Dream World Saitama. I believe that's the correct term for this specific variation. Already going up against the Subterraneans. No way. <laughs> See what I mean? The cinematic cutscenes already better than a hero nobody knows. Of course, this game was developed by... A different uh, company. Oh, this is so cool. So cool, man. 1v5 already right off the bat. And I already know what some of you guys are going to be saying. Why isn't Saitama one punching? Well, because again, if you've seen the anime, this is Dream Saitama. I know he still one punched uh, some enemies, but some subterraneans survived uh, the single punches, man. This is pretty dang cool. The combat is extremely smooth the graphics top notch <laughs> hey well, we're actually watching the anime right now tap q skill to perform a comet punch or flash move comet strike all right oh machine gun blow hey that was epic so that was one of my different specials i'm assuming hey we have the e special the e special Oh, wait, what was that? Do we have an R special or a T? No, I think we only have two. Q and E. That's totally fine. I don't think we can jump in this game, can we? Oh! Oh! Hey! We have quick time events as well. Oh! So, of course, I am playing this on PC. This game is only available on mobile, iOS, and Android devices, as well as PC, of course. Uh, PC is my preferred preference for this game just because we can play this on max quality. Oh, this is serious mode Saitama now. Serious mode. Oh, wait, let's go ahead and use the... Oh, we have the giant subterranean. Oh, oh how come there's no, like, finishing blow, though? It's just the consecutive punches. Hey, 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 we got the one kick man right there. Watch out. Yeet. <laughs> oh, there he is. If the other one was called the Giant Subterranean, I guess this is the Gargantuan Subterranean. Chase us! The impact frame! Alright, this is uh, when he's getting all fired up, right? And then the Giant King appears. Oh, no, no, not yet, not yet. I I'm mistaking, so we're not fighting the King Subterranean just yet. Oh, I'm missing all my punches. Can we, like, auto-aim or something? <laughs> oh, oh, so that's how we, like, dash, dash away. Machine gun punch! And as for the E special, what's my E special called? I don't even know, but that was epic. Oh, we have the R special. Oh, that's... All right, so this is the serious Saitama mode. <laughs> He's never experienced this type of battle before, right? Let's go. Yo, the OST in the background as well. It's like remakes of the original OSTs. I can appreciate that. The cooldown time is immense so we can't just spam supers and ultimates this is the part i think i'm talking about where we go up against the king subterranean we never got to see this in the anime so they're technically adding extra store detail oh, 
それこそがこの地底王が相手をしてやるよし。We have an epic gameplay system, cool features and mechanics, but players don't necessarily like the gacha system part of the game, which is totally understandable. I think there's like a 0.3 drop rate system going on right now. Oh, cutscene! Cutscene! Do we have another quick time event? Full power ultimate mode. Oh! <laughs> I don't normally play on mouse and keyboard, so if I drop some, then bear with me. Oh, watch out. Shoryuken. All the, oh, we got the multiple consecutive Shoryukens. Oh! He's still alive. Mads is still alive after all that. What's that bar? Do you see that bar that we have right there? That kind of translucent cyan bar? No idea what that is. Oh, that did damage. Wait, my health is actually doing well. I've been taking a lot of damage. Saitama is extremely strong. Now, of course, this is just part of the story mode. I'm not sure if this is going to be like the normal SSR Dream World Saitama just because this character is an SSR, like the best variation in the game. And I believe Tatsumaki is a brand new character that recently just dropped. Of course, you have to summon for the character, but I know a lot about this because, again, I've been following with the actual game. I haven't tried it out, though. I've always wanted to. Now... I have the time. Let's get it. Yo, I'm, I'm getting completely obliterated, man. Ultimate. Hey, into the E ultimate. Yeet, 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 yeet. I should probably activate the Kyle Cannon Power Boost or Super Saiyan, whatever you want to call it, just because I'm pretty sure it increases my damage. And not only that, we have different combo strings. I just realized that. Oh, so that's what that bar is. It's orange now. So that's the, the surge mode. Hey, I'm starting to understand. Oh, we have the ultimate on the left side of the screen. T, do you see that? Oh, he ruined it. He ruined it. No. So that's the ultimate. I could have done it like 10 hours ago, probably right there. Got him. Oh my gosh, yo, the animation. Perish! Serious move, a serious series, serious punch, whatever it's called. Yo, that that frame right there was literally from the Boros boss fight. This is way too cool. And then we have the real subterraneans. When I first uh, watched the anime, I thought these were, uh, you know, normal humans in costumes. But no, these are the official subterranean characters. <laughs> Not as powerful and mighty. That's for dang sure. <laughs> I mean, the uh, weapons that they have are pretty cool, like red lightsabers or something. Oh no! I've become too strong. We have the next episode. Pretty epic so far, if you ask me. I'm really hoping to see them, you know, provide a lot more content for us just for the game can stay alive. Oh, we have... Oh, what's his name? The character on the left. Deep Sea King, right? Very formidable warrior for sure. He defeated Genos. Very unfortunate. Genos is probably like my favorite character in the One Punch Man universe. Of course, Saitama is up there as well. We have Atomic Samurai, who's extremely cool. Garo and uh, Boros. Very epic villains. I don't think, could be totally wrong, but at the time of recording this video, I don't think we have playable villains, only heroes so far. And I have heard... Oh, there's Saitama before he was hero. Business Saitama, right? Anyway, I have heard by the developers that they're looking into a player versus player system. Online matches. 
we have online battles here but it's they're more like raid battles so you team up with three other players and then go up against the villains oh yo there's king there's king an easter egg oh all right so i guess we're just moving along with the story mode oh vaccine man vaccine man <laughs> Yo, we have a whole image back there for the city. Did you see that? <laughs> I mean, so far, the game is pretty epic. The gameplay itself, I'm enjoying it. So, I do remember in the anime, when Vaccine Man arrived, we do see Smile Man and Lightning Max out of commission. They've already been defeated. Again, going back to what I said before, we're getting some extra story detail. So, these two characters, I think, yeah, we actually get to play as them and go up against the Vaccine Man himself. Oh, Uzumaki Barrage! You saw it, you saw it. What's this? Oh yeah, so that's the time attack that I just read. Respect, respect. Oh, I got hit by that. No. E? Yo, the speed. Is this man Flashy Flash or something? <laughs> no, Flashy Flash is an S rank hero, right? I do like the recovery time. It replenishes itself extremely fast. Faster than Saitama's. So again, each character, you know, are going to have their own unique abilities and attributes, stuff like that, I'm sure. Can we dodge this? Run! Run! <laughs> Man just running for his life. Weave, weave, easy, easy! Oh, with the 360 front flip as well. Yeah, that's right. He's mad. He's mad. Oh my gosh, death ball! <laughs> we have freaking smile, man. Oh, I thought he was going to push that back. Oh, yeah, so this technically acts as a power-up. And then we can use all the different ultimates to increase the damage. Yo, this one is cool. The E special, look at that. Flying all over the place. There it is. We are doing work right now. He stands no chance. This is probably on easy mode, to be fair. Oh, I think I missed that. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, so we do have the T special. Use that for the one time. Oh. So the T is the ultimate, right? Yeah. Hey, the cinematic. Yo, man, this is a combination of Flash and Tenya from My Hero Academia just because of the rocket boosts that he has. Oh, he's done. He's done. Oh, we just got hit right there. Man's hitting after the game. Ref, where you at? And there it is. That's the scene I was actually talking about. Very awesome. And then here, continuing to the storyline, Saitama. I don't know, man. I'm just a hero for fun. I don't even need the subtitles. I know all the different quotes. Oh! No! Don't one-shot him, please! Don't! It would be cool if we actually get to go up against him. No! That would have been a boss fight I would have liked to play, to be honest. <laughs> Man's is just too strong. <laughs> to be continued once again. Is all this part of the prologue? <laughs> I think so, because we're still getting like tutorials on how to play. All right, now we have the open world feature of the game. Free roam aspect. I can definitely appreciate that. Let's go over here. Enter the elevator. No way, this is cool. This is way too cool. Can we go outside and explore? Upgrade has been unlocked. Select here to open the character development interface. So this is where we get to enhance all the different characters. Select upgrade to enter the character upgrade interface. Wait, what if I want to save these? I, I don't want to utilize these just yet. Ah, uh, but this is just for the tutorial, right? <laughs> it's just for the tutorial. <laughs> uh, oh wait, no, we can actually back out. 
interesting interesting all right so yeah so let's save that <laughs> let's save all of that because i want to level up the characters i'm going to be playing uh, but this is it for today's video if you guys would like to see more one punch man world make sure to drop a like i would greatly appreciate it let's try to get this video to 3,000 likes and i'll see you guys in the next video peace